These labs are... Dr. Chennai Simsex Laboratories at NDSU were once full of students. The purpose of these labs was to demonstrate the chemicals and ingredients that can go into bread and other wheat products, as well as the effect they have on our bodies. But because of COVID-19, the labs can now only hold up to two people at a time. This gave Dr. Simsek the perfect opportunity to develop a teaching method that she was considering. Before again COVID-19, I had this vision of utilization, you know, uh, virtual reality to enhance the learning. But with COVID-19, I had to be quick. Simsek and a few collaborators developed a VR course over the summer that serves as the virtual recreation of her lab demonstrations and experiments. The good thing with virtual reality is when you put the headsets on, you can actually really feel like you are inside that environment. You turn around uh, and you have control over going back, moving forward. Students are able to watch video demonstrations, simulate the projects, and even explore a nearly identical digital copy of her lab and all within a tiny suitcase with a pair of goggles and two hand controls. Simsex says she first became interested in VR after using it to explore Google Earth and thought it would be good for a virtual lab. So far, her students seem to agree. I didn't get the feedback of formal evaluation, but the feedback is awesome. Everybody actually is, is very thankful and they think it's a great idea. Why? Because it's much better than just sitting in the in front of computer. Dr. Simsek plans on utilizing the VR lab after the COVID pandemic is over and extending it for educational, non-college uses. I plan to use VR technology to introduce food science to K-12 students because there is so much you can do in front of them in, in terms of experiments. But the VR, they can put on the glasses and they can explore the great world of food science using the virtual reality. And as technology develops, creations like those of Dr. Simsex could be more commonplace. With photographer Devin Elliott, Ethan Studi, Campus News.